Welcome to Groovy for Beginners and in this lesson let's go over Groovy for Loops. Let's create a new file. Let's begin with classic for loop which is same in Java as well. Let's say I want to print something, I want to do something 10 times. Okay, that's a classic for loop. Initializing variable, I'm sorry, it should be zero there. Putting a condition and incrementation, and the piece of code we want to repeatedly execute. It has to print Java Home 10 times. So in case, if you want to include the value there, let's say I want to say Java Home 0, 1 and so on, I can take help of interpolation. We'll discuss more about interpolations in a separate video. But if you want to access any variable within a string, I can use the interpolation dollar open close curly brace and the variable I want to use there okay now let's clear the screen and re-execute this of course right so we're able to print Java home with dynamic values from 0 to 9 that's classic for loop let's say I don't want to print Java home 0 onwards and I want to print from 1 interpolations support arithmetic operators inside that I can use i plus 1 in first iteration i0 plus 1 1 and your logic will change now right exactly yeah that's about uh, a traditional otherwise a classic for loop so Groovy has different types of for loops and the next one I want to introduce is let's have let's have a list and let's say I want to loop through this list and print all fruit names so I will also explain more about groovy data structures like list set map and so on in different video but to demonstrate for each loop otherwise sorry each loop I'm taking this example each each let me first execute that exactly it's printing all the values in the list this one is a each construct uh, each actually is a method it's it's pretty much like this to that method I'm passing a closure okay to simplify the syntax, we can avoid using parentheses. See, without parentheses, I can directly put the closure. And it's going to loop through each and every element in this data. And that value is implicitly stored in IT. So here, in this construct, IT is an implicit variable created by this closure. In case you want to change the name of implicit variable, you can always override that. 
let's save it to X. Okay, so if you want to have a different name with instead of having default name which is IT, you can use this syntax and have your own custom name there. And even if you want to have little good output saying fruit name is yeah okay so that's the second syntax of uh, looping in groovy there are many syntaxes this is third one Okay, this is one more way of uh, looping through a list of elements in Groovy. And uh, the next example is, let's say I want to print something 10 times or I want to do something 10 times. Okay, 10 dot times times is a function here to that function I am passing this block let's say we want to use the index value inside our logic it could be dollar it which is again an implicit variable which will hold the index of current iteration we will see more and more uh, for loops for loop syntaxes in groovy after we uh, learn more about data structures